Welcome to Co-op Radio 102.7 FM CFRO. This is a Monday Brown Bagger. The date is June 15th, 2009. My name is Reginald Angus Argue. I have my co-host in the studio with me today, Tanya Hill. And we also have as a guest, uh, before I introduce our guest, as people have to realize that the atrocities that has happened to the First Nations and also other minorities he would say here in Canada has happened worldwide. And what we have to do is we have to directly face these atrocities of our past in the forms that we have to start teaching this within the school system. Uh, start teaching the truth so that way the children of the next generation will not allow this to continue on because all I'm seeing right now is I'm allow- I'm just basically seeing it continuing on and on and on and sooner or later our generation has to stand up together hold hand in hand to everyone doesn't matter what culture the person comes from doesn't matter what color skin the person comes from reach your hand out and join brothers and sisters together because we have to stop these atrocities and provide a better world for all. Now, with that said, I'd like to introduce our guest today is uh, Facta Zermonte, who is the president of the um, one more please uh, Association for the of, of the Defense of the Azerbaijani Political Prisoners. Uh, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Now, the first thing I'd like to ask is, is, could you give some history on the Azerbaijanians and how they are a minority within Iran and how they've been treated? Um, uh, when we call the minority, sometimes, according to some statistic, they might be even majority, like a Yes, in uh, according to a linguistic center from Texas, which is called Ethnologue, Azerbaijani and other Turkic groups are the majority in Iran, but they also could be either minority or the biggest minority in Iran. Iran has never, the both governments of Pahlavi and Islamic Republic, they have never released any statistic based on uh, uh, ethnicity, so uh, there's no way of finding the accurate numbers, but uh, many said that they might be majority in a minority situation. Uh, they are mostly concentrated minority on the north uh, west of Iran, um, and they have the they have been um, a very active um, part of the, the, the uh, government, like government and uh, the country, anything that has changed in Iran, many have come from Azerbaijani areas, the first demonstrations and for the fight for the, uh, to, to bring the constitution to Iran was from Azerbaijan. Uh, first um, modern uh, schools started from Azerbaijani area of Iran. Uh, so, um, so Azerbaijan Azerbaijanis, they have always um, been a very important part of Iranian society. Uh, But unfortunately, for the last 80 years, we do not uh, have, since the Pahlavi regime take, took over, we are not even allowed to have a single course, not even a single course, not, you can't even organize um, private lessons in your house and gather people to teach your language, uh, to read and write in Azerbaijani. And uh, they are um, um, constantly, both in the last government and this uh, government, uh, they are insulted in media, newspapers, and um, even in the society, there has been this um, racism, uh, racist jokes that is very popular within the Iranian community. 